This is College Board 10 calculator portion number 11. Um, again, we've got another stats question here, but I do believe that just by knowing what mean means, you could narrow this option down to a 50-50 shot. Um, but I wanna talk a little bit about standard deviation to it. It says the table shows a list of two numbers, uh, or two lists of numbers. And I've got list A here with the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. I just kind of drew a little number line here and put dots representing those six numbers that are in list A. And I did the same thing for list B. So we have two, three, three, four, four, five. Um, you can look at these lists and be able to tell where the average is. The average is gonna be right in the middle for both of them, which would be three and a half. Um, you can verify that by using your calculator. This is a calculator question. So you can add one, two, three, four, five, and six all together and divide by six. You get three and a half. And you get the same exact thing for list two. If you want to put those numbers into your calculator, add them up, divide by six, since there are six numbers there, you get three and a half. So for both of these, our average is going to be three and a half right in the middle. That eliminates this answer choice and this answer choice. So now that's what I was talking about. We're down to a 50-50 shot. Let's talk about standard deviation now. Standard deviation measures how spread out your numbers are. So if you can just look at these two dot plots, um, you can think about the range if you want to. You probably know what range means. It's the maximum number minus the minimum number. So in list A, the range is five because it's six minus one. And in list B, the range is only three. It's five minus two. Um, in list B, you can see by my dot plot here that this list is much less spread out than this one. And all that means is you don't have to know how spread out they are or what the ranges are. The only thing that that means is that the standard deviations are different. And that is why we end up with A as our final answer.